So Trump is turning his fear mongering towards socialism for two very distinct reasons. Yesterday, he gave a speech in Miami. He was talking about Venezuela. I want to play a couple of clips from that speech for you. Venezuela was the wealthiest nation by far in South America. But years of socialist rule have brought this once thriving nation to the brink of ruin. The socialists have done in Venezuela all of the same things that socialists, communists, totalitarians have done everywhere that they've had a chance to rule. The results have been catastrophic. Socialism has so completely ravaged this great country that even the world's largest reserves of oil are no longer enough to keep the lights on. Okay, so clearly he is fear-mongering socialism. Socialism is the big, bad boogeyman these days. And he's doing this for two very distinct reasons. Interestingly, Andrew McCabe released his book. In the book, uh, Aaron Maté actually highlighted that, uh, that Andrew McCabe said that Donald Trump Here's the quote here. Here's you can see the screenshot uh, talking about Trump here wanting to invade Venezuela, go to war with Venezuela in order to get the oil. So how do you get people on board with going to war with a nation? Uh, you can't really go around and say, look, we want to go to war with this nation because we want to take the oil. That doesn't really work with the general population. You have to pull at their heartstrings. You have to get them to feel like we have no choice. We must save these people who are experiencing atrocities against them. This is wrong and we must, we must. So that's how you get people to march into war. When Trump starts talking about socialism and the evils of socialism, he's trying to get people to get on board with, let's go into to Venezuela, invade and take their oil. Um, which, you know, and actually I want to take a moment here to talk about socialism and what it is and what it isn't. So many people think that social, you know, whenever they talk about socialism, they always point to Venezuela. That is going to be the talking point. And guaranteed in these next couple of years as we're approaching the 2020 election and with Bernie Sanders running for president and doing so well and being a true threat to Trump. Trump is very afraid of Bernie Sanders. This is why we're going to see an amping up of the rhetoric against socialism. It's going to be socialism this, socialism that, socialism this, socialism that. And it's going to be a complete fear-mongering smear campaign. And people just simply don't even understand what socialism is and what socialism isn't. So they're pointing to Venezuela. They're saying, look at the demise. Look at the USSR. Look at the demise. Here's the thing. Socialism is an economic system. It is not a political system. Socialism works in some country. For one, there's really no strictly socialist country. Even Venezuela had quite a few. In fact, the majority of Venezuela was still private sector. They still had a capitalistic society. They just decided to socialize certain aspects of their economy. So there is really no pure socialist economy. Um, there's mixes. There's mi We even have a mix. We have a mix of socialism in our society. When you look at our education system, our firefighters, our police, our military, I mean, all of that is in, in a way uh, socialized because it's owned by the government and we as the people put in our money towards it being collectively, you know, working supposedly on our behalf. Um, although you can you can argue that with some of those things. But every country has a mix. Now, the Nordic countries have a really good mix of socialism and capitalism. A purely capitalist society doesn't work either. That's anarchy. That's what that looks like. If you want pure capitalism, it is anarchy. It's complete deregulation of everything. It's just the wild, wild west. Everybody can do whatever they want. They can poison your water and pollute your air and, and give you a job for hardly any money and you have no choices. And uh, I mean, that's capitalism running amok. So nobody wants that either. And maybe it would be a good idea for us to start demonizing it by by really showcasing what pure pointing to systems that are purely capitalistic anarchic anarchist states that are uh, failed states and saying this is what capitalism this is what it looks like. Um, uh, and there's multiple. I mean, when you start talking about economic systems, this gets really, really complicated. But I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. Socialism is an economic system. When you and then you've got political systems. Okay, you've got democracies, monarchies, republics, dictatorships. 
what you got to do is you pick your economic system and you pick your political system and you shove them together. And that's how you get a nation. So to say, oh, socialism created the demise of Venezuela. Socialism was the demise of the USSR. No, that's not what created the collapse of these nations. There were a lot of factors, but one big factor was a lack of real democracy. So although that could be debated on, um, you know, in Venezuela, there's some there's some debate there, it seems to be. But at the end of the day, it comes down to somebody ruling the nation with an iron fist, taking away rights, not allowing people to be free in their own selves. They're not having their freedom of the press, um, you know, freedom to be whatever. It, it, it's taking away various civil liberties from these people, ruling with an iron fist. That is what causes the demise of nations. It is always, always the the taking away of rights from the population and just you know, digging the people further into the ground. Many nations, high levels of socialism works great, like the Nordic nations, which are very wealthy nations, very happy people, and they have a, a way more socialism in their economic system than we do, and they flourish. But again, people don't point to the Nordic system. They instead point to Venezuela. The Nordic system democracy. So when you mix democracy with socialism, you get these fantastic Nordic nations. When you mix dictatorships with with socialism, you end up with the USSR. Um, there are actually now communism, socialism, capitalism, these are economic systems. And there actually are, believe it or not, now some people say that communism is a political system, and I guess it can be, but there are actual examples of communism mixed with democracy. The kibbutz system in Israel, that was a democratically elected in communist system. In India right now, in the southern part of the, the nation, you've got uh, Kerala, and that is a democratically elected in communist state. Because democracy mixed with communism does not necessarily create the same types of communism that we saw that was failing in many parts of the world. In, in many of these parts of the world, when they got communism in, anytime you get a, a greedy uh, oligarchy running the government, that is when you're going to see a collapse and a demise in the nation. When the top tier people start sucking all the resources from everybody else, that can happen in capitalism. We see it here in the United States. That's what's going on with our government. You see it in socialism at the U.S. in, in the USSR. You see it in communism in the Southeast Asian nations. When you see an oligarchy suck the resources from all the people in order to enrich themselves and line their own pockets and keep everybody down, that's going to fail no matter what kind of economic system you put into place. So we uh, just, a, 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 you know, just wanting to point this out. Socialism, communism, capitalism, these are economic systems. Democracy, monarchies, republics, dictatorships, those are political systems. Pick, pick from each side, smash them together. That's what you get. What fails are dictatorships. What fails are oligarchies that suck up all the resources. That's what fails. Trump is fear-mongering socialism. He's going to point to Venezuela. He's going to point to Venezuela because he wants to march in and take the oil. And he's also going to point to Venezuela and socialism in order to smear Bernie Sanders and in order to smear the message of socialism to smear an economic system. That's what he's doing. So um, be forewarned, this is going to be the rhetoric that's going to be amped up for the next two years. It's going to be socialism, socialism, socialism. It's all really bad. Okay, um, I do want to move on here. How you can help the underdog candidates get to the debate stage. That is coming up. Click this card here, and that'll take you to the next video. How can you help? Because you can right now.